While meandering around the shops today, um, I was in TK Maxx and saw this lamp. Um, it's Rawson branded. Now, Rawson is just a generic brand in the UK. Um, I don't know if it's a global brand around the world, but it's just a generic tool brand. And it's a fairly standard style of lamp. Wattage 5 watts, apparently, and they claim a three-year warranty. It's interesting that um, they, they don't just have, although this is an A rating for the efficiency, I see they've added A plus and A plus plus. I presume they'll just keep adding more pluses as time goes on. So this cost £4.99, which is probably about twice as much as I'd pay for it uh, if I was buying it online. But um, it was perhaps good as a spontaneous purchase. So let's open it up. Quite intrigued to see what circuitry they use in here. First interesting thing is there are actually a couple of screw screws in the back here. But let's uh, plug it into a little adapter here. And plug it into a lamp holder. And see if it goes bang. Oh, it lit. That's nice. The power is showing as 3.1 watts. Oh dear, it's another bummed up value. Rightio, so let's open it. Uh, now, does the front come off? Is the front glued on? Or is it screwed on? Ooh, that's quite tight. I'm guessing it's probably just glued on. I may have to use brute force here. Oh, there we go. Oh, right, OK. Plastic. Um, is this just friction fit, or is it... Let's see if I can impale myself for your entertainment. Oh, here we go. It's glued in. And inside is quite an array of little LEDs. I'm guessing they're probably all wired in series. Yes, they are all wired in series. That almost hints at the possibility of a capacitive dropper, but I'm not 100% sure, or a buck, buck regulator. Uh, what happens if I unscrew these? I don't think it's going to give me access to the inside, but you never know. Oh, you minimum under there, which is quite interesting. Uh, that's a sort of, it's kind of been glued on, but with a sort of, the, it's not just sticky compound, heat sink compound, it's a, it seems to be uh, something that's actually set. So the wires are coming up. Um, not sure if I'm going to have much more luck getting anything else out here. Let's try applying more brute force at the risk of uh, serious impalement. No, let's uh, take a look at the other end. That's one screw out. Another one is loose. Ooh. Oh, it's just a capacitive dropper. That's a bit of a surprise. I was expecting something electronic. That's quite a... Given how that it was actually drawing three watts, that's quite a capacitor. That's going to be in the region of uh, probably about one microfarad, I'm guessing. Oh, this is intriguing. I suppose at this point, having just had a lit, I should start shorting things out, just in case there's residual charge left in the stuff. So I wonder if this is all just physically moulded in during manufacture or if uh, the rest of it can be pulled out. Let's see what it says here. Ross compliant, that's nice. Um, so, mains in through this um, resistor to start off with, then there's what I'm guessing is a metal oxide varistor across it to take any spikes away. Through the capacitor, the other leg probably goes straight to the rectifier. 
um, and then the output from the rectifier not 100% sure what that is don't think it's a resistor uh, the capacitor is right across the LEDs and there's no resistors on there so that's that's fairly common though it might be a zener to clamp the voltage down but other than that, really, it's just that's probably a, a discharge resistor for the big capacitor. I'm not 100% sure of this. I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's a zener, maybe if it's because it is just wired across the LEDs. But I don't really know why, unless it's a reverse polarity diode. I'm not sure, but you wouldn't expect uh, that to be an issue after a bridge rectifier. I'm not really sure about that. I shall investigate further. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can find out what value this capacitor is because for a 3 watt light that's got to be some size capacitor activate microscope because the lettering is very very faint let's see if I can focus on this, oh, oh blimey the lettering is just not very clear at all it's that where they've just spattered dot matrix very badly 400 volt God, that's actually unreadable I can't even read that using the microscope, it's such a coarse pattern of dots um, 5.64 is that 560 nano? I think it probably is. Which, I mean, how many LEDs are in the front of this? Well, this is going to be good to count. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 14, 28, 29, 30, 31, 30, 30, 34, 35, 36. I guess they're maybe just making up for the value. That, I, I thought that would have been, I thought that would have been a much higher value capacitor than that. But then again, if there's that number of LEDs, it's probably, hmm, yeah. Anyway, it's, it's a bit of a surprise. The fact is a capacitive dropper full stop. That's, uh, I'm just going to have to explore this a little bit further. But uh, interesting enough, quite neat actually, kind of like it. But then, is there anything I don't like when it comes to LEDs? Yeah.